I'm going to be installing a balcony rail between a balcony newel post and a half newel using a product from Zip Bolt called a Slip Fix UT Rail Bolt. It's a really simple but secure system for attaching a balcony rail. I've been using zip bolts for my balustrade builds for about seven or eight years now. Prior to that, I'd been using the old school railing connectors and just found them time consuming and archaic in design. With a little research online, I found zip bolts. Tried them out on a really complicated railing system and basically they saved the day. All zip bolts work on a design where a gear housing fits onto a threaded shaft and then tightens quickly with a hex driver and a drill or a screwdriver. The beauty of the zip bolt is that you can assemble and disassemble in seconds prior to your final glue up. The slip fix rail bolt is the zip bolt product that I use most in my work. I have probably installed a hundred of them and have never had a product failure. The key to having a good experience with zip bolt products is to follow the instructions and make sure your holes are drilled accurately. When it comes to balcony rails, I have found that installing the keyhole fixture in the half newel and newel post before they are installed, when possible, is quicker and more efficient. Alright, so I've got a story pole made up here. I want to have a 2 inch reveal. So I'm going to mark my 2 inch, that'll be the top of my railing. Uh, this arrow here marks the center of the fitting I have to install on the newel post. And this will be the bottom of the railing. And here is where I'm going to put my screw to hold the half newel onto the wall. And it'll be hidden by the railing. So I'm going to mark this as an S, this is a screw, and this is an F for the fitting. Now because I have a three quarter inch shoe going at the base of the half mule, I can hide a large screw in the bottom of the half mule. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out my one inch hole for the gear housing inch and a half back from the end of the railing 
and just in the middle like so then I'm going to use a spring-loaded center punch to start that hole index that hole now I've got a Forstner bit that's one inch and I've got a black line here to indicate the inch and three-eighths down I, I definitely want to don't want to go through the railing and ruin it here Now I'm ready to drill my 3 8 hole for the shaft. Just going to mark the center of the railing here. And I'm going to measure down 15 16 Make a mark. I'm going to take my 3 8 bit and just drill that through until I get to that one inch hole. All right, so now that I've got the holes drilled in the railing, I'm going to assemble the gear housing into this uh, one inch hole and the shaft into the end of the railing in the three eighths hole. And what's, ha what's going to happen is that, sh that gear housing is going to slide over top of the threaded portion of the shaft and then when I tighten this with a hex screw, it'll tighten up on the shaft. So I'm going to insert the shaft into the 3 8 hole. I'm going to slide the gear housing over top so it catches on the threads. Then I'm just going to simply grab the drill with the hex bit, tighten it up, and leave this portion of the shaft sticking out so it will uh, catch onto that keyhole assembly that's on the newel post. Okay, push. There we go. Okay. I'll grab that square. That's good there. So that's the uh, slip fix rail bolt install uh, zip bolt product makes these balcony rails really simple to do and as you saw that it's really easy to attach the railing on a dry fit take it apart add the glue and then do your final install. They've also got a couple of different options for tightening the uh, the gear housing. One is a little ratchet they sell and it's designed so it's uh, small and it's not going to you know break the uh, the gear housing and another is a little ratchet screwdriver. You'll notice <laughs> that I used a regular screwdriver especially for the small gear housings you don't want to use an impact drill although I will confess I have used them on numerous occasions and never had a problem but of course you have to be really careful and not over tighten. But um, in, in my estimation, this uh, product from Zipbolt, the uh, slip fix rail bolt, is ideal for balcony rails.
Thanks for watching this video. Check out my other videos on balustrade building and don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, help grow the channel. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. Oh, oh.